What is going on everyone and welcome back to the MC Eternal tutorial series. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fully automate processors, uh, applied energistics processors. So this will completely automate your production for that. And um, with the use of drawers, it will shut off once you've got like, uh, what is it? 32 stacks of these, which is more than enough to do all of your applied energistic needs. Um, it's very, very annoying to kind of go through and manually babysit a, a press like this uh, inscriber here. And you don't want to have to do that. So you're going to want to build something like this. I'm sure you definitely do if you found this video uh, because it is it is just a painstaking process. But anyways, before we jump into it, I would recommend watching this on 2x speed. Uh, you can go into the settings for the YouTube video and change the playback speed just to be a little faster because I've already built this machine. So what we're going to be doing is going through and explaining it in detail. It's going to be a, a while. And uh, yeah, I'm sure you can process the information faster than I can spit it out. So go ahead and speed up the video. But to start things off, uh, we're going to come here to our Aquios accumulator. This is going to give us an infinite water source. If you've seen some of the other videos, I'm sure you know how this works. But basically, we dig down uh, two deep and make it three wide. You put a water source here, a water source here, accumulator goes in the middle, and you've got infinite water. So I've taken some fluid duct and ran these over yonder to five garden cloches. These garden cloches take water in on the bottom and they take power in on the top. Um, if you don't have a flux network set up, I would suggest going in to the description and checking out that video. It's a great way to wirelessly transmit power all around so you don't have to have uh, conduits wasted going around the world. But anyways, back to what we were doing. So each of these garden cloches can accept dirt and a seed and it's going to produce essence right here. That essence is going to be output on the uh, middle face. So it's three three high. Right here in the middle face, you can output items and it will auto shoot them into whatever's in front of them. So what we're gonna get from these garden cloches is redstone essence here. And uh, you, don't, you don't necessarily need uh, essence, you need the item. So what we'll do is we will take the redstone essence and if you, uh, click on this you'll get the recipe that we have so to set up a new recipe all you're gonna do is like take an item right double click here I'll just set up a new one to show y'all one example and if you're curious on how you know what this is used for you can hover it and press U, and it'll show you the recipe to get what you're looking for so we want to get redstone so we would set it up like so and uh, this by itself isn't gonna do anything we need to select all items and input slots are consumed and then we need to press uh, results of crafting operation will go to the output buffer. So that is this and we want to apply that and now we have our recipe and you will do the same thing with each of these essence. So silicone essence into silicone, gold essence into gold, um, certus quartz into certus quartz and diamond essence into diamonds. Now it should be noted before we go any further that this is going to unlock some new missions for you because if we come down here we have unlockables. So the gold seeds and the diamond seeds are gated and in order to unlock these um, the farming chapter up here needs to be completed so you'll have to go through complete each of these quests and then you will unlock the ability to unlock gold seeds um, which you will then have to pay 40,000 coins to unlock and you will get your one gold seed you can duplicate those with um, crop sticks and just get a bunch of seeds uh, I would suggest doing that with your first seed so if you somehow lose a seed uh, accidentally delete it you have it forever and the diamond seeds is a whole nother rabbit hole I still haven't done this in my world personally I'm still mining diamonds but you need to complete the mystical agriculture quests I do believe where is that right here so all of these quests once you have completed them you can go to unlockables and unlock the diamond seeds which are 80,000 coins so I'm gonna be doing a video uh, here one of these days on how you can farm coins the best way to automate uh, coin farming um, via the task screen and reward collector which is pretty nice but just wanted to throw that out there you're you're probably not going to have access to these it should be on your to-do list though because they're extremely op and allow you to fully automate this so what's happening here is we are taking out um, these items via conduits and you do need to make sure you go over to all of these and uh, you know select extract always active and we're going to be moving over to an enrichment chamber here. Also, I don't know if I noted, these are crafters, tier one crafters from RF Tools. Very nice machine. 
and we need an enrichment chamber. So what this is going to do is take our Certus Quartz and turn it into pure Certus Quartz, which is what we need to create our silicon chip or whatever it's called. I don't know exactly the name of the items, but in order to get that, we can't just chuck Certus Quartz in there. We have to chuck in pure Certus Quartz. So the way we have this set up is uh, items going in on the top here and you can look inside. I don't like to change these um, inputs. I find that the mechanisms uh, config can be a little wonky, even though it shows that you can select any face to output and input. Um, sometimes if you change it, it just breaks. So I leave it in its native way. Um, we input on the top and we output on the right. And you do want to start making use of basic item filters. So those are pretty easy to build. And the way you set that is up is you would take your item filter, pop it in there, you grab this and you're going to need one Certus Quartz Crystal. Uh, you would take it, pop it in there, and then you get it right back. It doesn't physically take up the slot. It just lets it know what you're trying to store or what you're trying to insert. And that will make it to where, um, you know, all the other items will pass by this and go to their respective machines. And this will only accept our Certus Quartz, which is uh, pretty important or else this kind of breaks. And then we have it extracting over to this next phase of production. Now over here, we're going to be making use of silicon that we've got from our crafter uh, and silicon essence, and it is going to press that into uh, printed silicons. So these are going to then go over here and we'll get into that, but the way you would set this up is the same deal, filter, and you only want silicon going in there. These all do need to be powered as well, so I would continue running the conduit. And uh, it's important that we insert on this left side and export on this right side. So it is um, important that you follow the exact orientation that I'm showing in this video. These inscribers can be a little weird with their input and uh, like you can't just input everything into one face. It will mess it up. So just when I show you one of these, make sure you follow it exactly. Uh, the bottom, we're not really doing anything with on these inscribers. So it's basically the recipe is going to be um, whatever we're trying to press goes in on the right and our output goes in on or whatever we're trying to press goes in on the left and our output goes out on the right and you want to set up filters and make sure that's always active so for our logic circuit things we're going to obviously have a filter set up for gold for this we want pure Certus Quartz crystal and for our last processor we want diamond make sure those are all set to active and you should be good we're extracting here and moving on to the final phase of our production line our production chain here now this is where things get very particular on how you're going to be inserting and setting up filters so on the bottom for each of these machines we are only accepting silicon so if we look silicon silicon and silicon insert always active on the right sides we are only accepting redstone so for all of these right side faces we are we have a filter set up for redstone and on the tops here we're going to be using the respective piece that we need so uh, for our logic it's going to be the logic circuit for our calculation it's going to be the calculation circuit and for our printed engineering circuit uh, or engineering processors we want the engineering circuit so you will need to at least grab one of these from your machine that's pressing them and put it over here to be able to set up your filter and it's the same thing we're exporting on the right side faces here and then we have that running over to a wall so I've set up a mock wall um, I like to kind of have my stuff hidden away like ideally this would be built in a wall hidden away from the world uh, and once you've got it set up you know you should be able to seal it and never touch it again it should just work properly for you and now the way we have this set up is i've got a drawer controller here that is going to uh, transmit all these items to their respective drawers if you want to lock your drawer you can use the uh, drawer key and if you want to be able to see exactly what number you have on each of these you would use the quantify key there uh, and alternatively if you already have a, an, M an me system set up uh, what you could do is put storage buses on the back of these, run that over to your system here, your network, and boom, you've got access to these. And it, it, the way, the reason we have these drawers is because with this system, it will just keep creating. 
and it's not going to be super fast, right? Like you can see that it's creating some faster than others, but rest assured eventually, as long as this chunk is loaded, uh, you will come back to this and these will be full and you'll be able to just pull whatever you need out of them um, without completely overloading your storage network. Because right now all we've got is one 64K storage cell. If we just left this running without the use of drawers, it would completely fill up our system and we'd run out of storage. And uh, it, it's just overkill. You don't need that many of these uh, circuits processors. I don't know. Um, so this will kind of limit it to being a max of 32 stacks, which is more than enough for any of your needs. So I hope that video did help you guys out. Um, if you have any questions, be sure to comment them down below. I try to be as thorough as I possibly could. Uh, let me just run over everything again so you're not confused. We've got crafters, we've got garden cloches, we've got an aqueous accumulator, water, power, enrichment chamber to get our uh, pure certus quartz, all of our inscribers set up to print the respective uh, ingredients that we need to craft our things. And boom. It's running over here uh, the main things that you need to take away from this are just how you set up these filters and uh, inscribers because it can be very very wonky like just a simple mistake will break the machine and you'll be left wondering why you're not getting your beautiful beautiful yields over here without having to do anything so yep that's gonna do it hope you guys enjoyed if you did be sure to like the video subscribe for more content like this and I hope you all have a great rest of y'all's day peace